Walking through the city with my top down Made it this far, look at God now Looking at my life and how it played out Looking at my life and how it played out Walking through the city with my top down Made it this far, look at God now Looking at my life and how it played out Looking at my life and how it played out Looking at my life and how it played out Looking at my life and how it played out Look at my life and how it played out I'm just in time, just in time I'm just in time, girl I'm on a road, speeding through the toes Can't put me on hold All the time I waste, they can't be complacent Rolling out my windows to temptation Out of faith, wait until I make it Hand of God over my life, it's so amazing Yeah, yeah I'm not gonna stop until I make it Finally make it home to meet him Looking for seeing everybody I know gave Don't even know that the lack of faith is keeping you chained The only thing that's gonna set you free is feeling his great love Cool in your heart, something's missing mm -hmm, yeah, oh. I give my life to God and that's the difference I give my life to God and now I'm dip Catch me rolling through the city with my top down Made it this far, look at God now Looking at my life and how it played out Looking at my life and how it played out Into the city with my top, with my top down. Yeah, yeah. Look at God now. Look at God now. Looking at my life and how it played out. Looking at my life and how it Looking played out. Looking at my life.
Hey Explorers, welcome to week... What week are we on? How long have we been out here? Anyway, we've been out here for a long time. Pretty sure this is the last week of our Arcade Expedition series. I lost track of time. I think my hair grew out a little bit. I like it though, it's not bad. Anyway, I am going to be your virtual tour guide today, but we are going to start off with some worship, so stand up and let's get ready.
can be sure I know that you see me wherever I go adventures. How long have we been out here? It feels like forever. I'm pretty sure that either I need a haircut or an animal has made my head its new home. Not sure. All I know is it's very hot and I'm so happy that we went on these adventures and I hope that you guys had fun with us, but I'm ready for them to be over. Well, our final adventure into the Bible is the Bible story about Abraham and how he journeyed to the promised land. Probably felt kind of like this, or at least his wife did, not being able to get a haircut for a long, long time. Let's go and get ready to watch this Bible story. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Abraham. This is Abram, who will later be known as Abraham. Hey. When Abram was in the land called Canaan, God told him to look over the land as far as his eyes could see. God promised that the land would be blessed and that Abram would have many children. Ah. 25 years passed. Abram and Sarai were very old and still had no children. God appeared to Abram and said, don't be afraid. I'm your shield. A sun is coming. Look at the heavens and count the stars. Someday, you will have as many children as there are stars in the sky. Then God told Abram that his name would no longer be Abram, but it would be Abraham, which means father of many nations. God also told Abraham that Sarai's name would be changed to Sarah. God promised to bless Sarah and told Abraham that she would become pregnant and have a son. God made a covenant with Abraham that day. His covenant was a promise that Abraham would have many sons and they would be blessed. Hey kids, we're outside on this beautiful starry night once again. Look at all of them, I can't even count them. But I have my handy dandy lamp to light my way when it's dark and that's just like God's word. So I'm gonna put my lamp down right here and we're going to stand up and do our memory verse together with the motions. So everybody get ready. This verse is found in Isaiah 40, 28. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can imagine. Okay, so we're going to do it one more time a little bit slower. Isaiah 40, 28. Do you not know? Have you not heard? that the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can imagine. Great job, guys, keep practicing. And I don't know where my lamp went, and uh, um, it's dark. I'm gonna go find that. We'll see you guys later, okay? <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to our last week of adventure. I'm so tired. I don't even know what day it is. Um, Sasha, what, what what day is it, anyways? Sasha. What? Who? Who's that? Who is this? Okay, vamanos.
All right, guys, we're here. We are headed to another destination. This time, we don't really know where we're gonna end up, but we're gonna have fun on the journey, and we might hit a couple snags along the way, but we are ready. We have water, we have food for days. We really don't know how long it's gonna take to get to our destination, but we're gonna get there. Come on. All right, guys, whew, it's been a long journey. We went on a super long walk, but after a really long and strenuous journey, we finally reached this super cool museum. It's been here right by my house this whole time. We actually discovered it. We didn't even know this whole thing was here. I'm pretty sure that there's cool places like this all around where you live, outdoors where you can explore with your family. Man, I'm so happy to have found places like this. I can't even imagine how amazingly happy Abraham was when he reached the land that God promised him. He left what he knew to go on a journey into the unknown just on God's word. That's all he had to lean on. That's all he believed in was God's word. That's all he had to believe in. He didn't have anything concrete to go on, but he believed in the God that he served and God really did take him somewhere amazing. Can you imagine? I think it looked like something cool like this. I think Sasha's trying to paint it or clean it. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that God keeps his promises. If we do our part and obey, obedience is putting our faith in action. Doing even before we actually see proof of what God's word is telling us to do. And you guys know that God has a plan for us, just like he had for Abraham. He really does. But we have to act in obedience and actually follow his plan because the destination is something amazing. Kind of like this cool place we found. Let's go explore a little bit more. Hi guys, so we have learned so much about nature during our adventure and did you know that many explorers use marks just like this one so they could find their way back and to the places that they've been. It's just like a mark that Ms. Pastor Paula is going to make if she falls. Vamanos! So we're out here again, and we have a lot of tools for our journey, like you saw previously. Like one of them is this canteen. We fill it with water, we're not gonna be thirsty on our journey, but I'm sure Abraham had something to keep his water in. But the other thing that he had that we have too is the Holy Spirit. He's our guide along our journey, as he was for Abraham. He guided him the entire way. Can you imagine only having the Holy Spirit to guide you? You have no clue where you're going, but God was with him and he was telling him where to go on his journey. Just kind of like how Pastor Paula is telling us where to go, because I really have no clue where she's taking us. I hope she knows. So let's continue our journey. This way, guys. Wait. Wait! Okay, we're good, team. It was false call. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, we're good. What is that? Wait! Okay, I know, we're good. We're good. Sorry, false, false alarm. False alarm. Wait! Okay, it stopped. All right, we're safe. I can't imagine what Abraham had to go through during his journey. He didn't even have me guiding him. He must have been so scared. Anyway, thank God I'm on this journey to guide these people, right? Aren't you thankful? <laughs> no, she <laughs> did Hello? Guys? Where is everybody? 
Is it over? Are we done? I think it's over, guys. This is it. We're done. And I can finally get a haircut. But you know what? It's time for you to share and like all this stuff on Instagram and Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube so you can follow us on all of our adventures that we're going to go on after this. After I get a haircut, it's going to be great. But we want you to share this anyways with all of your friends and your family and so you can keep re-watching everything that we're doing and you can learn a little bit more. So, we'll see you next time. I forgot to tell you that we're going to break into discussion time. So you better grab your family or your friends or whoever's there with you and discuss these questions together. <laughs>